In the latest Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 patch, the Aegis Retaliator received its gold standard pass along with an upsize on its turrets. Today we wanted to see how it fares doing bounty missions. Before we get started, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's get into this video. Tonight we have four org members including myself to man the Aegis Retaliator, one pilot and three turret gunners with two size 3 panthers on each turret. Keep in mind that the Retaliator has a total of five man turrets. We started off with an MRT just to see how to operate this ship. Should be able to shoot those fucking fuel tanks that it has. That should I be know. Like, it's like weakness. I know. All they did with this, with this master mode stuff, they just bumped up the health and lowered the damage up. We first ran into a Starfarer. These are very tanky. Our weapons are noticeably weaker due to the master mode changes. We were still able to take it down. Freaking AI can actually just shoot. Nice. We then took on an M2, which is also tanky. All we needed to do was to stay on its back to take it down. flying in a way that like my turret can't shoot <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah because he's like right in front of the wing and so the turret won't fire because it would just be shooting the oh, ship oh right 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 yeah, i know what you mean Step up he's go. doing a good job then it's more maneuverable than us even though he weighs six times as much <laughs> you say the engineering right there but nice good there we go, he's on. Good job. Nice, nice. Our primary target was a caterpillar. It's also tanky, but no challenge. Caterpillar. The best strategy is to stay in the outskirts and pick them off one at a time, especially with VHRTs and above. Oh, yeah. It's easy it's to be focused fired upon. We only have six size two shield generators to work with. Jesus. Oh, there we go. Up next, we went straight to ERTs. The primary target was an 890 jump, which seemed bugged as we hit it with a couple of torpedoes and it did not take damage. Oh, two. Oh, he's on us. He's right on us. He's gonna try to ram us. Oh, it hit. One of them hit. Nice. Did it kill him? No, he's still alive. We gotta get on him. We decided to send some additional torps. They're trying to shoot the, the they're trying to shoot the missiles. Connect. Connected. It still didn't do enough. What? The 890 is so overpowered. <laughs> this thing this thing will take us days to kill it. I can't see it. Uh, are you able to see it? Uh, health health information. Nope. We had to move on to pick <laughs> off the escorts. Focus on murdering the other guys. Yeah, I think we should just do that. The M2 once again, no challenge, but tanky. Yeah, these size threes take a while, man. I'm up against TRTs. So taking he's done. Good job. We took on two additional Starfarers with no challenge as well. Starfarer right up the nose. Yep. Its back shields are almost done. Good, good, good. Keep in, keep in, keep in. Let me charge you. Ooh. Oh, that was bright. Woo! Oh, woo! <laughs> that was I'm pretty okay. Sick. I'm okay. I got a little cinch, but I'm okay. <laughs> That was really cool. Defensively, it wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, the 890 jump was bugged, 
but it wasn't a threat to us. We're confident that if it wasn't bugged, the torpedoes would have taken it out. We'll have to see how this fares for the Hammerhead in a future video. In summary, the Retaliator is a very capable ship for bounty missions, especially when the torpedoes are able to apply damage. If you'd like to participate in events like this, feel free to join us. Our org discord is in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.